Welcome to No Remorse Woodworking, where I use reclaimed wood for various projects. Where I work, we discard a lot of wood every day. I think it's a shame to let all of it go to waste, so I've asked permission to take home the pieces I want. This allows me to be selective, but it still means taking pallets apart and removing a lot of nails before I can start using the wood for my projects. As you've seen in my intro, I use a lot of pallet wood and occasionally I bring home a couple of pallets. That's what I've done tonight and I might as well show you how I take them apart. It's quite simple, uh, but it does make a bit of noise. So for my tools, I use a mallet, crowbar and of course my earmuffs. The pallet is a Euro type single use pallet and this one is made of uh, beech so it's quite tough. Rather than trying to pry the boards off I'm simply going to whack the corners. And as you can hopefully see, I now have a gap where I can use the pry bar. With relative ease. And yes, some of them are more stubborn than others, but so am I. At this stage it's relatively easy to pry off the boards. Now you can see why I've made my table saw sled uh, so large and so uh, sturdy because I can use it to take these apart. Normally I don't save these uh, cross braces, uh, they've got so many holes and defects it's not really worth it. But I noticed that at least one of them has some really nice grain pattern. I might be able to use it for a small box or something to the pry bar. I did. Is it called a pry bar or a crow bar? Translated from Danish, it's called a cow's leg. I think you can see why. And yes, of course the last one is, is the most difficult one. rotten board so uh, the last thing to do to make the boards usable to remove the remaining nails can be a bit tricky at times especially if they have already been bent then perhaps it's easiest to cut them a bit shorter beat them into submission play dentist and pull them out. There we go. I think it's taken me about an hour to bring home and dismantle three pallets and a lot of other boards. Um, I still need to remove all the nails but I usually save that for later uh, because 
I bring this home right after work and uh, I'm getting hungry. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of how I dismantle pellets. If you have, please leave a like. I'm sorry, my belly is grumbling. I am really hungry. But hit the bell, subscribe to get notification when I upload new videos. Thank you very much.